Okay, so let's talk about Incantation. If you've been on TikTok for the past week or two and you get a lot of movie stuff and all of that, you've probably come across this film that is being said to be one of the most disturbing, horrific films you can watch and that you won't even make it past like certain scenes and you're probably not going to finish it. This is just how insane this movie is. I was wondering if it was and we're going to talk about it and the ending and what it all meant. So before we get into it, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. If you haven't already followed us on TikTok, make sure you do. Culture Elixir is the name. I'm putting the screen right here. We talk a lot about movies, quick um, stuff there and thoughts and all of that. So make sure you follow us there. But let's get into Incantation and what exactly was that whole ending and meaning. So Incantation basically is a found footage type film. And the events are pretty much non-linear with things going back and forth between the past and the present time. And so when the movie first starts, we meet a woman named Ronan who tells us about an incantation that we are supposed to be seeing in order to bring blessings and all of that. And so we have this incantation and we say it at the beginning of the film and that's supposed to sort of help her daughter out. We then move to the past where we see what exactly happened in order for her daughter to even be cursed or any of that. And we find out that they had a channel her husband and his her husband's cousin where they pretty much were trying to like film supernatural things and they come across a ritual that's being held where they are doing this incantation as well and we find out that things aren't going to go just as they thought things get really messed up real quick so they are currently going into this forbidden cave that they were told not to go in and once they do we actually see that the husband actually comes out lifeless his body's being taken and we also see that the cousins coming out screaming panicking and the woman's actually pregnant at the time and also is losing her mind and so what she eventually does is take the child into foster care until she can get things straight with herself eventually however she is able to come out and take her daughter back but things are not the same at all as she quickly realizes this shadowy presence is all but real and plaguing both her and her daughter now so she's pretty desperate and trying to do whatever it takes even getting an exorcism on her daughter which doesn't really go as planned eventually her daughter just gets covered in runes and so pretty much things are just getting a lot worse now and we see that she is getting very much so on the brink of just not knowing what to do when the footage is recovered about what happened that night they learn about the buddha mother who is pretty much the thing that is cursed them because they actually took the veil off of the buddha mother once you see the face you are cursed and say the incantation with your name all of that which happened that night with both her husband as well as with the husband's cousin and so we see that actually is the case of this whole curse and the whole premise of it and so now she basically has to go back in there and tells us that we've been saying this incantation throughout in order to sort of like make a light of the curse that is on both her and her daughter now so everybody's going to carry the curse now that is watching this movie and she pretty much lifts the veil of the buddha mother and that's when she gets possessed as well it smashes her head and that's how the movie pretty much ends right there so i thought it was a very interesting take i think the found footage thing the also breaking the fourth wall was definitely something that makes it kind of really scary when you think about it that we've been saying this incantation as you were watching the film and you really didn't know what you were saying and you find out at the end that you're just getting yourself cursed but at the end they do show the daughter is good and healthy now so it worked so a very interesting film to say the least i don't know if it was as bad as people are saying it's gonna be and that might just be because I've watched a lot of horror movies already. And I feel like it was definitely some of the scenes were definitely like taken aback. Like if you didn't know what was coming. Especially when some of the characters would smash their head and everything. It was very violent and it was very um, sudden. But I don't know about the whole trying to just like completely stop the movie or any of that would be the case with it. But that's just my opinion on it. I still do think that it was an interesting approach with the found footage. Also with the breaking of fourth wall. Something you really don't see a lot happen in films. And I think that really makes them more interactive. And makes you really get more into them. I think the whole thing with the curse and everything. If you're watching it when you're younger and all of that. It could definitely scare you. Because 
they say that the curse is when you see the face of the Buddha mother which is shown to the camera and you're saying the incantation so you could sort of feel like you're being really cursed now so I definitely see the appeal about it if you show it to somebody who's never seen it just see their reaction about it I think it's definitely interesting that you feel like you're part of the film which I think will be interesting to see if other films try to adapt something like that or if we see the eventual remake with all the buzz that this one's getting on TikTok so Anyways, as always, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on it. Of course, in the end, like I said, as everybody who watched the movie and everything was saying the incantation, saw the Buddha mother's face and all of that, they all have this curse on them and sort of like a light curse now. So that meant that the um, daughter of the woman was able to survive and pretty much live a happier life. The woman, of course, ultimately died at the end as she smashed her head as well since she was more cursed and that's how the movie ended. But let me know your thoughts and your opinions on it. Are you uh, one of the people that thought that this was very much so one of the scariest films you've seen or did you think it was not as bad as people were saying on TikTok? And yeah, I just had to make a video because I kept seeing it on my TikTok and I was just like, okay, we have to check this out and see what exactly all this buzz and talk is about because I'm interested in it because um, I think last year was like Megan is Missing and the Poughkeepsie tapes are also a part of this whole wave where we have this movie every once in a while that everybody's like talking about on TikTok and it's like this is the scariest film you've seen, don't watch it alone, all of that. And of course we're just like, I'm going to watch this film. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you follow us on TikTok as well. We are on there as well, Culture Elixir, as well as Twitter. We have a website, CultureElixir.com, where we talk about all the stuff you need to know in the know. And, yeah, that's going to do it for me. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers this weekend. We hit 22,000, which was amazing. Can we get to 23,000 by next weekend? That is a big, big ask, but I feel like we can. Uh, we will be doing a special uh, type of videos this weekend, so stay tuned for that. We're going to this event. So it should be fun. And as always, that's going to do it for me. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure notification bell's on. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts and opinions on this movie. And as always, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive. Hey, if you're still listening, really appreciate you making it all the way to the end. And yeah, let me know what your favorite horror film of the year is so far. I already did this short on what my favorite horror films of the year are. I'm definitely going to make a longer video talking and explaining more about it. As we're halfway through the year, I just want to get where everybody's consensus is. We're going to be getting a ton more horror films, especially in the October time. So definitely we'll be making a fuller video at the end of the year for that. But just let me know yours right now. Make sure you're following me on Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff here as well. 25,000 subscribers is the goal. Let's get to it. As always, stay safe, stay positive.